welcome to Moon12216 Reviews. This is part two of my favorite product videos. Um, my last few products that I didn't get time to put in my other video, you know, other video because of the time limit thing, is for LA Colors. Um, this one is Sweet Pleasure, is the palette. This is a six color eyeshadow. And um, I think these palettes, this palette right here, would be great for Valentine's Day. I know Valentine's Day is already over and I didn't do a video for it. But anyway, I, in my opinion, the LA Color Sweet Pleasure 6 Color Eyeshadow Palette would be a really good palette for Valentine's Day. Here's what it is. I got this for a dollar at the um, Dollar Tree. The colors are really good. Even though it costs a dollar, it is a really good eyeshadow. Um, the um, eyeshadow brush, though, it's not very grand. I haven't really found any eyeshadow brushes that don't fall apart. Like when you go to clean them or something. I mean, a lot of them I've had, um, they just they fall apart or they come apart or something. They're basically just cheap brushes. But, um, I, what I do, I usually just take my finger, you know, like, you know, wash your hands, dry them, and then take your finger and dip it in the eyeshadow palette you want to use, and just use it that way, or take, um, one of those washable eyeshadow brushes, let me see if I can find one real quick, um, well, hold on. Or just go out and, um, I couldn't find one of those real quick. Well, anyway, or just go out and buy the, um, Dollar General Body Eyeshadow Applicators. Um, these anyway, you can go out and buy these if you have, um, problems like I do with your eyeshadow brushes that you buy with the palettes breaking all the time. Well, anyway, you can just go out and buy these. I mean, this is a 12-pack for under 5 bucks. So, basically, when mine break, I just, I just got tired of them breaking. So, I just went out and bought these. And I just used these instead. But anyway, the palette's really good. Um, the colors are very, let me see if I can show you real quick, see if I can open this today. Sometimes I don't want to open very good, and sometimes they just glide real easy. And, um, these palettes glide real easy. I'm going to show you this color right here. That's what it looks like. It's a very nice pink. As you can probably tell here, this one was this palette right here. It does match up with the palette color anyway. And, um, like I said, these are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree where I get them anyway. And, um, the eyeshadow brush on this one has held up pretty good. But I haven't had a chance to clean it yet. So I'm hoping that they don't fall apart when I clean them. And what I clean my with, mine with, I usually just take um, my Dollar General um, makeup removers and I just usually take the eyeshadow brush and I just kind of gently wipe them on the um, makeup remover and it helps remove um, the eyeshadow from it. But if you use, like, wet eyeshadow, um, like, um, like the Wet n Wild or, um, whatever that brand is. I actually have one, but I don't like it. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Like this right here, it's, um, Eye Def Hard Candy Glitter Eyeshadow. It's from the brand Hard Candy. It's in Pool Boy. I mean, like, if you try to remove, like, these, which I don't like this very much because, um, these can stain your eyelid with the color after you remove it. And, um, they're hard to apply. Let me show you the applicator on this one because I don't like it because of the applicator is a pain in the rear. That is your applicator for your eye on this. Well, your eyelid, anyway. I don't like these. Well, anyway, if you try to remove, um, like, wet, you know, like a wet eyeshadow like these with, um, the Dollar General makeup cloths, it works pretty good, but I would suggest, um, taking a Kleenex first and doing it to get most of the moisture and junk off your eye and then take, um, a Dollar General one. Well, anyway, like I was saying, the, um... 
the LA Colors um, Sweet Pleasure Six Color Eyeshadow Palette. Anyway, it's a really good palette for um, like Valentine's Day or just when you want to go for a soft, subtle pink, um, pink eye eyeshadow. Anyway, I think that would be a pretty good palette for it, and I like this palette. Like I said, the colors are good. Um, it's pretty cheap, and they also have a LA Colors eye candy one. Six color eyeshadow. This I also got at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. As you can tell, my eyeshadow brush is no longer in it because it broke. Like I said, they break when I clean them or they just fall apart on their own. This, um, these all have a touch of glitter in them. And I like the glitter ones. Sometimes I don't really go for much glitter that much. It just depends. Like, I don't really use the really, really glittery stuff. I go for the light glitter like these. As you can tell, these are um, more of a brighter eyeshadows um, for people who want to go for a little bit bolder look than the light subtle eyeshadows. And uh, one of my favorites in here, as you guys can probably tell, is this green one up here, the one in the middle. As you can tell, it actually comes out pretty pigmented and it's got um, the sparkle in it. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it is sparkly, which I like. And uh, those are two of my favorite eyeshadow palettes, anyway, for the LA Colors. And my other two favorites is for a Get the Look Profusion. And um, these don't have a name on the pa for the palettes on these. I don't know what the palettes are called because they don't have a name. But anyway, these, um, I have two of these, and I like both of them. All these eyeshadows have glitter in them, and here's what this one looks like. As you can tell, these are, um, it has a chick on it anyway, and on the back they say, get the look, profusion. And, um, these actually come with eyeshadow brushes also, and these I like better because these are actually really easier to clean for me, and I can remove the eyeshadow off of these really good. And I've never had these break on me, so these are really good. I got these at a store called Fred's. Anyway, I don't remember the price on them. Well, anyway, here's what they look like, These eye, this eyeshadow palette. As you can tell, they all have glitter. Um, from the top right is a white, and in the middle it's kind of a bluish white. And then on the left, in the top row anyway, it's kind of a greenish, which is really pretty. And as you can tell... Um, they even have a like a black and a gold and a silver. So they have a lot of different colors in these. And they're all glitter. And they're really pretty colors in my opinion. And the other one I got would also be good for Valentine's Day anyway. Some of the colors in it. And um, like I said, these don't have um, any like um, palette names or anything. It just says Get the Look Profusion. Um, I also got this from the same store. It has the same chick on it in the corner. And uh, these are really pretty. It has different pinks. It has like a violet and stuff. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take the eyeshadow brush out because it don't fall out on me. As you can tell, the bottom row on this one is more of a darker. But on top is the really pretty um, pinks and violet I was talking about. It's kind of like a pink, um, purple, violetish color. Well, anyway, this would also be a really good palette for Valentine's Day. So, I'm going to probably label this like um, my eyeshadow favorites. My favorite products part 2 or something like that. It will have part 2 in it. And I will link part 1 down in the description along with my website and my Twitter. Um, please follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to me on YouTube and all that stuff. And um, thanks for watching. And I know... This was kind of a long, you know, video since I had to do it in two parts. But for those of you that did watch both parts, you know, part one and this one, which is part two, um, thanks for watching. And if you guys have any comments or questions, um, just um, post them down in the comments down below and I will get back to you. Um, but please don't ask me, like, um, just ask me about the products that are in the video you're commenting on. If you want to ask me something about um, a product that was in part one, please ask me that question on the part one video instead of asking me it on the part two video.
That way I don't get confused and the other people reading the comments don't get, you know, confused like, what are you asking? She didn't even show that product in this video. You know, I know some people have like a rude thing to them. Well, anyway, I'd know what you mean, but they probably wouldn't. So just ask me like if you want to know about a perfume I showed. Um, ask me in the part one video since I didn't show the perfumes in this part two video. Um, well, anyway, thanks for watching and thanks for listening. And like I said, if you watch both parts of my favorite product video, thank you. And, um, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've done a video. I've just been really busy with it being February and stuff. And, um, I should be able to do more videos in March. I'm hoping anyway. I'm waiting on some stuff to come in the mail that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, I got in on a campaign for um, Smiley 360s. I'm going to do a video about, you know, talking about it. Well, talking about what I'm going to be reviewing anyway. And I will do that video pretty soon. Um, well, thanks for watching and listening. Like I said, please subscribe to me on YouTube. And please follow me on Twitter. And my website and my Twitter will be down below along with the part one video link. So thanks for watching and listening.